In this lesson we're going to look at how to complete the square. What I mean by that is change a quadratic into this form here in the middle of the screen. You should have seen this form before in Intermediate 2 or National 5. But it's important to understand this form comes from the, the normal way you see a quadratic, i.e. 3x squared plus 2x take away 6. We can get from that to this. Now, why do we want to do that? What's good about this form? Well, it's really good for identifying where the turning point is straight away. If you have it in this form, you can quickly identify this value here and the two coordinates of it. So a few examples here. Identify the turning point of the quadratic. Well, the x value of the turning point comes from making the bracket 0, so that's 3 and the 4, and this moves up the quadratic up 4 places, so it's 3, 4. And this one, the x value would be minus 2, the turning point to make the bracket 0, and the y value would be minus 6 at this point, so minus 2, minus 6. Okay, so let's look at how to get from this form to this form. This is what completing the square is. So we have a wee look at the bottom. If I consider squaring these brackets out, x plus 1 squared, then I get x squared plus 2x plus 1. This will give me a 1x and another x when you multiply it out and then the plus 1 at the end. Same idea with x plus 3 squared. You're going to get an x squared, a 3x, another 3x and then a 9. The way to look at it is to think about the brackets like that. Okay, think of it like that instead of just x plus 3 squared. Like this. People make a mistake and say it's x squared plus 9. It's not, it's like this. Okay, so same idea over here. x, you're going to get a minus 4x, another minus 4x, and a plus 16. So if we're reversing this process here to get back to the bracket, to get to this format here, you can see that you have the middle term every time to get the value at the end. Same idea at the end here. If you get 2a, you half it to get 1a here. 2, half it to get 1, 6, and half it to get 3. So let's look at these examples here. If I want to get my bracket part for this, then that's going to be x plus 1 all squared. Half the middle term to get this value here. However, if I multiply this bracket out, if I did x plus 1 times x plus 1, I would get x squared plus an x plus another x, but I'd get an extra plus 1. I don't want that here because that's not there's no plus 1 here, so I need to take it away. And if I applied all that out and took the 1 away, I would get this. Next one, x squared plus 6, 6x. Bracket's going to be a 3 in it, x plus 3 all squared. But if I multiplied this out, I would get x squared, I would get a 3x and another 3x to get the 6. But I'd also get a plus 9. I don't want that, so I take it away. Moving down, x minus 2 in the bracket squared to get your negative 4x. So I'd get x squared minus 4x, but I'd generate an extra plus 4, negative 2 squared. So I take it away. And then the last one here, You've got a negative 12 here, so it's going to be x minus 6 squared in the bracket. But I'll generate an extra plus 36, take it away. So that if I multiplied this out and took away 36, I would get to this point here. Okay, let's look at these ones here. So we're going from the full trinomial into completing the square. So, first bracket is going to have an x plus 1, half the middle term. You always half this value here. So x plus 1 squared. Now when I'm doing this at first I'm only considering this bit here. So how do I get that bit there? Well this will give me the x squared plus the 2x but it will generate an extra plus 1 so I need to take it away. Then I take into account I've got an extra plus 5 there so I'll put that in. Simplifying the second line and you've got a plus 4. Next example, again, 
to start off, I'm just considering this first bit like the last screen. So that's going to be an x minus 2 all squared. It's going to generate an extra plus 4 with a negative 2 squared. Take it away. And then add on the 7. So x minus 2 squared plus 3. Exactly the same in the last one. Consider the first two parts here. So that's going to be x minus 5 all squared. So it's going to give me x squared minus 5x minus 5x, but it's going to generate an extra plus 25, so I don't want that. But then you've got this takeaway too, so put that in the end. Simplifies to that. 